4,000 RPMs. We're going above 70. What's up guys? So I'm actually, so yeah, so I'm actually on my lunch at work. I usually go for a walk, give myself some exercise to try to stretch my legs. It's been a crazy day so far. I'm trying to burn off some extra calories. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Omega Green YouTube channel where we do a whole bunch of fun things with cars and we learn how to work on all the cars together. And uh, yeah, in today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. Going back to my old style videos, doing like an old school, like gorilla style vlog. I'm actually filming this on my phone, just got out of work. Man, I'm in the Miata, which is so weird. I'm gonna start it up. Oh, I'm gonna get out of work. I'm in the parking lot at my job. I'm about to get out of here. Yeah, I'm about to get out of here, man. It is absolutely beautiful outside today. Oh yeah, so it kind of sucks. The Focus RS, I did get a flat tire inside of that, so I'm not driving that. I did order another tire to a replacement. I'll show you guys that when we get home. But I'm about to drive home. I want to put my headphones on just because of the radio in here. It's not working. But yeah, guys, it is. I'm going to open up this roof, though. Oh. just got home right now and whew, one thing people don't realize with the Miata of how much like speed it feels like you're carrying whenever you're driving it especially because with the roof down and the windows down it feels like you're going so fast it really does and because it has a small displacement like the engine is like screaming basically when you're like going above 70 so it makes it feel like you're going so fast but but I wanted to show you guys the Focus. So it's been in the, in the garage the past couple of days. So the tires that are on here, I just found, found out these are actually some cheap tires. So the original owner must have, when they replaced the tires, he must have got these cheap tires. They're like Daylin or I forgot the exact name, but it's like, it's like D something. But so what I originally was going to do, reason why I didn't just get it plugged, because the one tire, I'll show you guys what it looks like actually. This one back here, as you can see, the tire is flat. There's a giant nail in it. And yeah, pretty much, I'm sure it could probably be patched. It's like in the middle. It's not even on the side or anything like that. So I'm sure it could be patched, but I was going to originally order completely like a different set of tires. Um, but the more and more, cause I was gonna, you know, do all the tires at the same time. Cause it is an all wood drive car. Figured that, okay, cool. If I'm gonna upgrade the tires, this is the time to do it. Apparently though, after doing a little bit more research, it turns out with these cars, they're not, since the all-wheel drive system is different, it's not like a Subaru or something like that, where it's sending the power to the front and then to the rear, it's like, 
it's not exactly the same. We have to replace all the same tires. They should they should have the all the exact same tread wear at the, the exact same time. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but to my knowledge, they don't have to be exactly the same. And the other thing I was looking at, these tires, they are actually fairly like fresh. Like at first I thought they were like more worn down. The reason I was like, okay, cool. I'm not gonna just replace one tire. I'm gonna just go ahead and just do them all, you know, if if the tread wear is like, you know, pretty much down. But it turns out that actually the tread wear on these tires are actually like decent still. So like I would say they're definitely probably like at least like 70, if not 80% still life left in them. So I think that'd be fine if I replaced the one. And also I guess I'll keep this extra one as my spare if I absolutely need one. These tires are complete trash. They're like, I think, I think they're like $90 of like a, a tire. These aren't anything special at all. But the reason why I didn't upgrade is because of, well, I'm kind of, I was in between. My thing is though, I was going to either, well, everything kind of, everything's kind of like depending on right now. I was going to save that budget for if I was going, to, if we're still here, question mark, in this area, I was going to buy a set of winter tires and winter wheels most likely or use these as, as my winter uh, wheels and just put winter tires on these then just get a, a pair of summer you know uh wheels so i was saving money to do that the reason why i was like well i could upgrade and get super nice summer tires from sticky tires right now but i think it'd be best if i save that use that just get this one tire fixed and then just kind of do other things with that money like allocate it or allocate it better so that's kind of what I've been doing. So the focus I rest, it's in the garage. It's been kind of hanging out here, chilling. But it's actually been pretty cool because I haven't driven the Miata in like a couple, honestly, since I got the focus. I haven't driven the Miata in like a while. Yeah, so this is the focus. It's just still chilling, hanging out. I miss driving it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love the Miata. The Miata is great, but it's just so small in comparison. Let's open this up real quick. All right, so anyways, what are they gonna do? So now, just got home from work. I'm gonna go see what's up with the dogs, take them out. Our one dog, he ate some stuff last night too. He's been kind of <laughs> just going through it pretty much. So he kept us up really late last night. He was just barking and it was just a lot. He, and our dogs, they never bark, they're Huskies. Huskies really don't bark at all. So we're gonna have to, I don't know. He. You can tell he was definitely going going through some stuff with all that food he ate. So I'm gonna go take care of them for a minute and uh, we'll pick this up in a second. I just wanna show you guys, look at this. Garrus is just, he does not care. Legion, you gonna come out? Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Oh. Yeah, he's broken out of his cage a lot. Let's see what happens. He's coming out. Garris, coming out. You coming out. Very slowly. Hey, boy. Good boy. Garris, come on, boy. Come on. You don't want to come out of your cage? You going to stay in there? Hmm? You going to stay in there? Or are you coming out? What are you doing? Hmm? Come on. You want some ice? You want to go outside? Mm hmm? I still have to finish this video. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this video before I finish this one. But we will see. Maybe. Maybe. Boys ready? Go! Oh. oh. All right, just took the dogs out. They're just hanging out in the backyard for a minute. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, guys, the one thing, I don't think people really realize 
I'm like actually like pretty tall. So when you see me compared to the Miata, it's pretty funny to see me getting inside of it. So as you can see, that's the Miata. Let me just show you guys. Like I'm filming from my perspective, like where my head is. Like actually still more up, it's more like this. This is how much taller I am than the Miata. Like this goes up to my knee. So quite literally, it's like so small in comparison. I don't know how I'm, how I could fit, how I could drive. Like literally my, my uh, boss at work today, he asked me, he was like, how in the world can you fit in there? <laughs> Just like, I don't know, but I, I can't, and I'm surprised that I can to this day. Oh, the dog just, oh, that was straight water. Whoa. Yeah, he's probably still not feeling well. Yeah, I'm gonna let him sit outside for a while. That was like straight water. He just pooped. Um, yeah, so the dog, Legion, he's still kind of not feeling great. So we're just gonna just chill out with him for right now. Sorry, this video is just pretty basic. It's like nothing crazy going on. But I want to give you guys like kind of a vlog just to show you guys what's kind of like my normal day. <laughs> Literally came home from work, uh, took the dogs out and started doing other work for other things. Literally, like that's pretty much what I do you know, Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends when I really focus on YouTube and doing more and more stuff for for YouTube. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of the life when you have, like when you're doing multiple things and like you're running a business. So it's kind of a weird, interesting, kind of a boring day, but it is what it is. Tomorrow's Friday. So I'm really excited about that this weekend. We got some more stuff planned. I do have actually, I'm gonna install this sequential, um, turn signal on the focus rs i'm gonna do that this weekend so that should be pretty cool um and more since i've been driving the miata i've honestly fallen more and more in love with it i think it's great i think it's really fun um i just forgot about driving it and the only bad thing is though right now because i was literally looking at doing autocross this the whole point of having having the miata was to autocross and do track stuff but everything with covid right now the, like especially in my area the western new york area our uh our scca like our autocross league they're not allowing people if you haven't done it before they're not allowing you to do it because there's no ride-alongs and there's no like they're not doing instructions at all so basically they're like you have to have had a couple of autocrosses underneath your belt to participate because they're not allowed to like have anyone like in your car or like explain stuff or do anything so that kind of sucks so it really is putting a damper on everything that I wanted to do with the Miata. So I'm like, great. I literally bought the thing to do autocross and do stuff like that. And I can't even do it. So I'm a little bit bummed out, but it is what it is. But I don't know. I just wanted to let you guys know, though. But the more and more I'm driving it again, the more and more I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. This thing is actually, like, really, really fun. But this video was just kind of a simple vlog. Nothing crazy. Literally filmed this whole thing on my phone. Could edit on my phone. I have the other video coming up. When I'm going to be comparing the Focus RS to the Velocirun. I think that video is going to probably go up after this video. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. So I'm going to end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Follow me on Instagram. I'll make a grieve. Same name as YouTube channel. And like that right here, guys. And we'll see you in the next video where we're going to be doing something a little bit more interesting. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys.